Okay, so I'm going to read this one a little bit differently than what the question says. Um, so it says, um, express the following measurement, 52,030.2 meters, in the correct scientific notation. Okay? So whenever you're converting from one number to another, or if you're solving a problem for a particular number, you want to make sure that not only do you put the number there, with the correct significant figures, but you also have to remember to put your units there too. Remember, if you don't put your units there, the first thing someone's going to ask you is 52,000 what? Okay, so if you don't put that units there, you have to explain more to the person, okay? And you want the whole of your answer right there on the paper so that the person who's grading you can see it. Okay, so we want to remember, take this, and that, okay? So, what does it say to put it into scientific notation? Okay, well that's not so bad. Um, just the decimal points there, what are we gonna do? One, two, three, four, put it right there. Two, zero, three, zero, two. Okay, all of those numbers are significant times 10 to the, what did we say we moved it? 1, 2, 3, 4. So 10 to the 4th meters. Okay, we got to keep that meters in there. That's what I was talking about. So whenever we're doing these, remember, when we, whenever we have a positive number, that means that number is bigger than 1, okay, the original number. If this number is negative, then that means that number is smaller than 1, okay? Pretty straightforward. Any questions on this one? No. Okay, wonderful. Thank you.